Hi, and thank you for watching this short video in which I will show you what the free app Camera Tether does and what it's for. So I have a camera, as you can see, and it's hooked up to my Mac using a USB cable. Um, and I will show you how the app works with the camera. So let me show you my desktop and let me launch the app that we're talking about, Camera Tether and it's available for free in the Mac App Store. Um, it's got a help link to the page on App Force One explaining what it's for. It also has a brief explanation here and a link to the two applications that are not free but that use the same tethering technology. So if you want to do something with tethering and you're looking for an app, these two could do what you want to do. Um, and with the camera tether, free app you can check if it will work with your camera it should work with almost every camera but there might be some cameras out there with which it doesn't work so uh, for you to check it out before spending money on a non-free app uh, we've made this available so you don't see any available cameras yet because my camera's off so let me first switch it on there we go and then within a second we see the camera and the take picture button is now enabled. That should happen when you connect your camera to the app. Um, bear in mind it needs to be in PTP mode. Some cameras come up in a, as a disk when you connect them and some cameras will not be able to do anything when you connect them through USB to your Mac. If that is the case it will likely not work. But if you have a Nikon in like this one or a Canon um, SLR, it, it will it should work. It works with almost every one, uh, every camera that I've seen so far. So let's che check if it actually does communicate with the camera, because that's basically what tethering is. It communicates with the camera over a USB connection. So it controls the camera. Now it's just a very simple control where it sees the camera and takes a picture. That's all it does. So let me push the button, look in the lens. Well, the first time I do it, it just will tell me the camera is ready. That's sort of an initialization thing. If I press on it again, it will take a picture immediately. So let me look in the lens. And that's taken a picture. And then after a second, it will show that picture on my app. And as you can see, I've got a chroma key backdrop here, which is now replaced with my desktop. Um, so, um, the two apps that can use the tethering uh, principle are Picture Me and Time Lapse Movie. So, Picture Me is a chroma keying or green screen photography app. It's a complete solution for green screen photography. And Time Lapse Movie allows you to create movies from your high resolution SLR shots. Uh, so, up to 8K. If your camera has 8K resolution, you can create an 8K movie. You might not be able to watch it on anything, but you can create it. Um, so, if this doesn't work, I would appreciate it if you would not just write a one-star review saying it doesn't work, but actually let me know which camera you have uh, so I can add that to the list of non-supported cameras or look into the possibility of adding support for that camera. Basically, I don't control much of that because basically we're using a method that is generic and as long as the camera works on your Mac and has the picture transfer protocol supported, it should also work with our apps. So um, if it doesn't, let us know. Uh, through the support page, you can let us know it doesn't work. I much prefer that over getting a one star review, obviously. If it does work and you'd like to get something that actually does something except just take a picture. Uh, picture Me and Time Lapse Movie are also available on the App Store, but not for free. There is, however, a very cheap version of Picture Me that's only a few uh, dollars or euros or whatever currency you're paying. Uh, so that's easy to try. And there's a pro version which has more features and higher resolution. So um, that's it. I would like to thank you for watching and uh, if you do like this app or like the other apps that we've done, Picture Me or Time Lapse Movie or any of the other apps, uh, then it's always appreciated if you leave a positive review or rate it with five stars or both. 
so let us know also if you think something has room for improvement we cannot improve the software unless you let us know what you don't like and don't be angry when something is not in there that you think should be in there because we may not have thought of it but it doesn't mean we can't add it so if you have feature requests please submit them and if you have questions or issues let me know and thank you for watching and have a good day